Meanwhile, S Speaker Kim McCarthy facing a new battle this morning, speaking of repair, with a vote on new rules and Democrats already crying foul on the GOP. What is going to be a problem is if the American people will be held captive over the next two years to the extreme MAGA Republican agenda that apparently has been negotiated into the House rules and the functioning of the Congress. That's going to undermine the health, the safety, and the well-being of the American people. It may undermine national security and a robust defense and undermine our ability to actually advance an agenda that is anchored in kitchen table pocketbook issues and not extremism. Right. Uh, so a conservative is an extremist. Our next guest served as Speaker of the House here to react. Fox News contributor and author of Defeating Big Government Socialism, Newt Gingrich. New, first off, can you just comment on what Hakeem Jeffries characterized? So if the Freedom Caucus is in charge, it's extreme? Uh, <clears throat> look, Hakeem has a huge problem. He has to go from a dictatorship where he was one of the dictators to just being a member. Uh, all of a sudden, the House is going to be open. They're going to have open rules. The rules committees are going to allow amendments. Bills are going to come through committees, not through Nancy Pelosi's office. Now, Hakeem must be in shock. It would be like being in Soviet Union or Cuba or somewhere and suddenly being told you're actually going to be a free society. And I think the Democrats are finding all this very confusing. It's going to be messy. It's going to be complicated. Uh, it's going to take uh, Speaker McCarthy paying attention seven days a week. Uh, but it's what's called freedom. And I think uh, they're going to be very successful. Uh, <clears throat> they're going to, I think, move today to repeal the 87,000 additional IRS agents. Let's see what the Democrats are. About all of them vote for bigger government, more bureaucracy, uh, and more audits of your tax account. Uh, while all being pious. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a very exciting time, and I think, frankly, this is a very healthy process, and the House is going to be much more wide open. And I thought uh, the new whip, Tom Emmer, was very good a few minutes ago in pointing out they're opening up the House for the American people for the first time since COVID hit. Hope they keep the cameras open. I love seeing all that. Hey, Newt, what do you think about, uh, you know, it took 15 votes for them, for Republicans to agree <clears throat> on a speaker. Are we going to see that? Is that just a foreshadow of what's yet to come? Is that going to be the case for every vote? Sure. Well, I don't know. The, I don't think it'll be 15 votes every time, but I think you're going to have a constant challenge in the Republican conference between moderates who feel that too much was given to uh, the hard right, people on the hard right who want even more or they want it sooner or whatever. So th this will be a balancing act. But remember, Pelosi ran the House with exactly the same margin that McCarthy has. Uh, Denny Hastert had a five-vote margin at one point, one more than uh, Speaker uh, McCarthy has. So it can be done. It's going to be challenging. But I also think Republicans have to shift for the news media expectations. I'll give you one example. My view, if, if I were there, my view would be the Republicans owe the debt ceiling four votes. That's the number. If, 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 if Hakeem delivers every single Democrat and the other people who voted for all the spending, they only need four votes. That's a totally different model of negotiating than people who want to put the burden on the Republican Party. And it all starts today. Newt, thank you very much for joining us on this Monday. Great. Thank Glad you. to be with you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.